Hiya. Hello. What are you doing here? Well, I just wondered if there's anything I could help out with. I'm bored out my brains in that stud office. Well, you're the one who wanted a job. Yeah, but I haven't got a proper job, have I? I mean, if I'm going to be your PA, I need to learn more about the business. Next thing you'll be asked you to take a look at the books. Oh, that'll be the day when a teach shows a dingle the books. <laughs> Quite. Now, look, I have to go and meet a client. If you really want something to do, you can take these letters I've signed over to Virginia. Then the day's your own. Just so long as you're back at the cottage about five, because that's when I do have something that is right up your street. Do you know something, Chris? Sometimes you can be flaming patronising. Well, if patronising's the worst you have to put up with, I think you can count yourself lucky. I'm very sorry. I don't know how that happened. Uh, yeah, I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Goodbye. Did you send an invoice out to Jim Marshall? Yeah, you told me to. No, I didn't. I told you to leave it on my desk so I could check it. You sent out the wrong one. Sorry. You do realise we've got an important client coming in half an hour? Yeah, you've said. Well, I'd sooner this place didn't look like a bus station. And if you must eat all the grapes, please don't leave the bare stalks in the bowl. It's so unattractive. Oh, no, she's early. Get rid of this. Only me. I thought you weren't coming in today. Isn't it your day off? I know. I'm not stopping. I just thought I'd look in, make sure there are no problems. Oh, no, no, there aren't. Well, only the usual. She's lying through there as though this is a bordello. Honestly, I don't know if it's worse when she helps me or when she doesn't. You want us to take her off your hands for the dear? Yes, please. I don't think her feminine charms, such as they are, will cut much ice with our next appointment. Morning. Hello, Andrew. You all right, love? I'm well. What about you? Yeah, I'm OK. A bit bored, though. Fancy your day out? Where to? Well, nowhere special. It's me day off. I'm going to look at a mare that a friend of mine's thinking of buying. Well, swing's holiday. Well, yeah, but it's a nice try. If you want to come along, you might learn a thing or two. OK, I will. Beats stopping here. On second thoughts, is this wise? She is the boss's bind. And I am removing her at your request. I expect you to corroborate that. Well, that entirely depends on what you get up to while you're away. Will that be so foolish? Yes. OK, well, I do like this. You haven't got any more practical shoes? Never mind. Let's go. But how can you tell just by looking at a house? I can't. I can hazard a guess, and I'm usually right. But I've been working around horses since I was this high. Give yourself some time. Work with horses if you're interested. You could go a long way in this business. You're a nice girl, Charity. You're a pretty girl with a good brain in there if you ever decide to use it. Do you reckon? Where have you been? Been trying to get hold of you. Yeah, well, it's Andrew's day off, so... Uh, we went to look at a mare, Christopher. A friend of mine's thinking of buying her and bringing her to the stud next year. So what were you doing, taking Charity along? Well, it was now for me to do in office. Well, let's get one thing straight. Both of you. Charity works for me, not the stud, and you do not take her off on stud jaunts without my express permission. Right, well, that's clear enough. Darling, you'd better get down to the cottage, hadn't you? Seem to remember you said you had an appointment there at five. Do you know something, Chris? You're really pushing your luck. On the contrary, you are really pushing yours. <laughs> 